Hey guys, welcome back to BJ Tech News, and this is episode 142. Wow, that's a lot of episodes. So, today's episode again is more Windows 8, and it's all about where is the startup folder? Windows 8, where did you put that startup folder? Where? Where did you put it? Where? Now, the only reason that I'm asking that question to Windows 8, and probably Windows 8 won't answer back to me because it's not like... Uh, Siri, like the Apple. Uh, hello, uh, start menu is here. Uh, but uh, I had a user that normally likes to insert things and start their start up men folder, and uh, they're kind of lazy. They normally put the shortcut and you know put the Outlook shortcut, and when they log in, start up will start whatever's in there, and the Outlook will you know automatically start up for them. And they asked that question because they are testing Windows 8 on my office. And I was like, uh, I didn't know where it was at. So I'm going to basically show you guys where this location is at. Now, we're going to do, I'm inside my virtual machine, as always. And I'm going to do a Windows X to bring out my tools. And I'm going to do a run. And within my run, now I'm typing everything with one hand. And the only reason I'm typing everything in one hand is because I broke my other hand. Oh my gosh. And believe it or not, I broke my... Um, I broke my right hand. So I, what, I'm, what I did right here in the command, right, I'm not going to type everything out, but I'm going to drill down to the location. And the location that I want to go to is uh, percent sign, app, data, percent sign, hit OK. And if everything works out, it's going to bring your roaming folder. And within your roaming folder, you want to go into Microsoft. Within Microsoft, you want to go into Windows. Within Windows, you want to go into Start Menu. And within Start Menu, you want to go into Programs. And within Programs, there goes your Startup. Simple, right? Now, this is for one user. Now, if you want to hit all users, the path for that is we're going to do another Windows X, bring the run command. Now you're not really going into the percent app data. Now the percent app data is normally for uh, one user, you know. Uh, so what you want to do is percent program data. All right, be patient, guys. I'm just one person with one broken, one broken hand. And once you do that, press OK, and it will pop up the program data. Now again, you want to go into the Microsoft path. Uh, go into Windows. Within Windows, you want to go into the Start menu. Within the Start menu, you want to go to Programs. Within Programs, you want to go into again Start Up. Now, this particular folder right here, this startup folder, is actually for all users. So, if you want to customize it for every user that logs into your machine, this is where you will do it. The other version that I showed you guys were for a single person. Now. Believe it or not, you can also create like a shortcut or a command for the user to direct them there. Uh, I'm not going to show you like the shortcuts that you normally would do. Uh, I'm normally going to do the geeky way. So the geeky way is I'm going to do command X, hit the run, and the geeky way is this. I am going to show you something, and it's shell colon start up okay and then you're gonna hit enter and there you go now the only reason that I'm able to use a shell command is because the shell command is for only special folders now the startup folder is considered a special folder uh, now I'm gonna do you probably ask yourself can I do the same thing with the all users startup folder sure so we're gonna do another win X or you can basically do a win R to bring the run command. Oh, you like that, right? We're going to do a shell again, colon, and it is common startup. I think it's two words. I'm not too sure. So we're going to find out right now if this is going to work. Common startup. Yeah, it did. So common startup, two words. And this will bring you to. The program data, the one I showed you, you know, the one that we drilled down earlier. Now, there's also uh, a registry. You can actually, within the registry, you can actually see all the special folders 
that can use the shell commands. Now, if you're wondering for that, I'm going to show you. So we're going to do another win arm. Got to love that win arm. I'm going to close these two startup folders, and I'm going to bring the reg edit prompt dot. I think I have to put msc. I'm ne I never could remember that, and I don't. So I think it's just reg edit that I have to enter. There you go. I always forget whether or not I have to put msc which is Microsoft console. Ugh. Now, I'm going to expand this little guy and I'm going to show you the registry location of where all the special folders within Windows 8 uh, so you can use the shell command. Now, you actually go, go to, let me remember this, I believe it's H key local machines, software, Microsoft, and I believe it's inside the Windows folder and current version. Current version. And I'm trying to remember. Current version. Trying to remember. Trying to remember. Trying to remember. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Explorer. And I think with Fin Explorer. Ah, oh, brain, brain, brain work for me. Trying to remember where is that. It's not working. Ah, oh. explore and folder description. Description. Yes, this is it. Found it. Now, just to give you a brief summary of the Windows 8 special folders that can use the shell command, you can basically use account pictures. This is one account pictures. Yeah. Uh, you can use application shortcuts, apps folder, home group current user folder, uh, home group folder. Program files, common x64, program files, x64, public account pictures, public libraries, um, roaming town images, roaming tiles, screenshots, and many more. I'm not going to list all of them, I'm just going to list the basic common ones for you. But this is where you could actually uh, go and check things out. Yeah, it's pretty pretty cool like let me see let me see I'm gonna use favorites let me see if favorites works for me let me click on the taskbar so I could do a win R and let's do a shell colon and let's just go F A V O R I T E S you know let's test this out I don't want to tell you guys these are all the special special commands for the shell commands and it doesn't work and you guys are like oh Bernardo you you whack so I'm gonna hit OK, and there you go, bingo! Takes you directly to your favorites folder. Again, um, if you're a geeky guy and you like to use commands, hey, shell command is your thing. Uh, this is the path again, right below here, that you guys can navigate. And these, all these folders right here with all these gibberish numbers, is uh, basically the folders that you can use the shell command on. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this episode and I catch you guys on the next one. Please enjoy. Please give me thumbs up. I always enjoy those thumbs up from you guys and feedback as well. And uh, peace out.